It's a curious life. I won't let you try to bring me down tonight. So pick up all your negativity and leave it behind, behind, behind. So yesterday was New Year's Eve, and today is the first of January. 2017. I said on my Snapchat, I'm going to record a video tonight. <laughs> and then I ended up going to work. I did a New Year's Eve shift at the hotel I work in. And I did room service and I also worked in the buffet. And working on New Year's Eve is very interesting because everyone's so happy and everyone is so like, <sighs> so much happens. And that was really fun. But I didn't get to do this video. So, um,. I told people to send me dares and questions and they're all on my Snapchat, they're all my friends and people I know but, this is, but basically I haven't read any of them so after my work um, I drank <laughs> with my family I got in time for midnight to have Prosecco with my family which is so nice so let's have a look at some of these messages Andra, what's your fave meme? my fave meme of 2016 damn Daniel <laughs> I love dabbing. Molly, my cousin. Are you happy you have been blessed with the world's best cousin? Yeah. Oh my god, she wrote loads of questions on her laptop, babe. Cute. Zainab. Uh, if you could describe 2016 in a line from a book, song, film, play, which would you pick? Oh my god. If you could describe 2016 in a line from... Um... Oh, this is really lame. I would take the uh, Hannah Montana movie, uh, the line that Travis says when he goes, um, life's a climb, but the view's amazing kind of thing. Because, yeah, I, I, I liked a lot of the celebs that died this year. And I know that's really weird that I'm like, I don't know these people. I didn't know David Bowie. I didn't know Prince. I didn't know um, Alan Rickman. It was sad to lose really great. For me, losing David Bowie was, that was like, fuck you world because especially this year of all the elections and stuff you needed them so yeah life's a climb but when you get to the top the view's amazing because looking back on 2016 it was a really good year for me like personally i mean you grow every year you grow every day but um especially since summer i've learned a lot oh my camera's gonna die please don't die soon so yeah uh that's quite cool in the same vein which would you pick to encompass what you would like out of 2017 um, where are my poetry books? I can think of a line from a book or a movie, but, um, going to university, I've acquired an amazing lecturer, and he said something, which, <laughs> it's a bit crude, but I like it. Um, so I suppose this goes out to students, like, my year as an academic, but also as someone who's young, and I, like, I feel the whole, I have so much ahead of me. Um, but he said, uh, he, he said, with his eyes closed, he went, you, your generation has been jumping through hoops for years and years and years. You have done the test system, you have been through GCSEs, A-levels, SATs, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I want you to take this year, this time, meaning first year, but also I think it applies to life. You should always look at this about life. Everything's about learning. And if you just keep jumping through hoops, you're really screwing yourself over. Because if you don't try and do something different and experiment, what are you going to achieve that's different than following a beaten path? What are you going to achieve that's different to everybody else if you don't take risks, if you don't take chances, if you don't push yourself, if you don't do something strange? Even if you, do, if you fuck up royally, you learn from it. And I, I like that kind of ideology. So thank you, Professor. <laughs> Darius, what did he say? Record yourself smacking Sam in the face, that would be so funny. Ah, uh, note to self. Remember to smack Sam in the face, that's one thing I've got to go do. Oh, yes. Where are you for New Year's? <laughs> Where was I for New Year's? Um, I was home on the dot, but I was at a hotel. Thanks, Annie. Uh, Katie. My baby. Woo, New Year's video. I'm currently attempting my first short film. Hey, well done to you. Good luck. What is it about? Tell me. Heather. Oh, want to ask a question, but I don't know what to ask. What's your fave David Bowie song? Fave David Bowie album. Oh, my favourite song, Starboy. Not Starboy. The Sp Space Boy. It's a weird one. Where it's like... Do you like girls or boys? It's 
it's confusing these days. Space boy will cover you, will cover you in space dust. I like it. It's a bit. It's a. It's got very repetitive lyrics, but I like his voice. Also, like, um, I'm a movie child, so I love Labyrinth, and there's a love song in Labyrinth. Uh, oh, um, um, I'll put a link to it here. And I just love Boys Keep Swinging. Like, it's so good. Uh, and then my favourite one too, like, Boogie 2, is Fame. <laughs> oh, thanks, Heather. Mwah. Well, when did you start YouTube? Question one. And dare run around town like a chicken. So I've got a smack Sam in the face, and I've got to run around town like a chicken. I'll record that later. Why did you start YouTube? Uh, hi Sophie! Oh my god, I hope you're having fun in France. Um, I started YouTube because I used to watch YouTubers when I basically was in year 8. Uh, someone showed me a Charlie So Cool like video, and it was Charlie So Cool like drinking tea, and I was like, oh my god, YouTube is cool. I used to watch Niger Higer, that was like like the one minute films I used to watch those all the time, and like, how to be ninja, how to be nerd, loved them. Um, and then I watched loads of YouTubers for a very long time. I think about 2012 I was like, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Yes! Because I was going to America on holiday um, after year 10. And I was like, yeah, this is such a good idea. I can do vlogs. I can do talk about things. I can help other people. Because like YouTubers, obviously, like lots of people started as teenagers. So they talk about like having acne. And I hated my acne. I used to struggle so much with my face. Like I didn't. You know, you go through that whole, I don't like myself, oh my gosh. And I also struggled with, like, hating my weight. Um, but I was never sad about it because I had an abundance of people on the internet who had talked about it and rationalised it. So, like, I would literally go to bed with my Blackberry on the YouTube application watching Carrie, watching Charlie, watching Liam Dryden, watching Dodie, I mean I don't know if I knew Dodie then, um, also musicians. I became obsessed with the idea of playing the guitar, playing the ukulele, playing piano. I got a ukulele because I wanted to learn all of Charlie's Cool Lights music. <laughs> classic. I'm a classic YouTube fan. Just, the internet's great. Indra, babe, screenshot the next snap. If Sherlock asked you to work with him on a crazy and possibly very dangerous case, would you do it? Yes! Are you mad? Oh my god. Um, I would love to help Sherlock with a case. Like, I'm obsessed. I read the whole of the Sherlock series in the summer, and I read Anthony Horowitz's uh, Sherlock book, and I've got the Moriarty one. I'm obsessed. But also, Sherlock as in Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh my god. If I could do that, I'd be so happy. I'd probably be John Watson in a jumper, running around. But yes. <laughs> Andreas, day to get fucked for New Year's. Um, get fucked, you mean get fucked as in get back. Any particular type of questions? Oh, Ben, you should have just asked me anything. Fabio, he sent me a picture of Italy. Oh, I day to get ketchup in a cup of tea and drink it, all of it. Okay, so I've got to hit Sam in the face, run around town like a chicken, and drink a cup of ketchup. I'm not Adam and Fabio, but I'll do it. Enrique, what are you looking forward to most of the New Year? Uh, I'm looking forward to the summer, <laughs> which is not me wishing away my time, but um, I'm like travelling and I love travelling and I'm also looking forward to warm. I mean I love the cold weather and I love wearing jumpers, but I'm also looking forward to like the warm. I'm looking forward to just hanging with people and having fun at university, moving into a house, that's weird, I've got a house, and seeing your face again Enrique. <laughs> Georgia Kirby, my wife, what did she say? Is Lucy, guess who I am? Oh my god, that's terrifying. She swapped her face with her sister. Marlene, why do you do this? Happy New Year, my baby. Ella. Morning. I love to send you a question, but sadly I have no brain. I'm not thinking. Oh, babe. I love you, Ella. You know I won't watch this, but I love you and I miss you. And I'm sorry we haven't messed up yet. Adam Dalby. Aww. Alora. We'll send question to chat where they are easier to say. Hey, little more. Oh, Laura. What is Laura? My babe in America. Oh, my God. You've asked me so many questions. <gasps> oh. Okay, quick fire round. A favourite book? The Night Circus. Favourite movie? Currently a Royal Night Out. If you had to pick only watching your favourite movie or reading your favourite book for the rest of your life, which would you choose? I'd probably choose reading the book because I'd get more out of it and I'd analyse the shit out of it and draw all over it. Why did you start making YouTube videos? I've already answered that question, but Charlie's so cool like in a simple form and some boy at school cocaine. What are your news resolutions? Um, I currently kind of had like, not really many, just have fun. Take risks in my work. Don't say no to anything. Say yes to everything, accept and build, accept and build. Have fun. Have fun is my main. Just like, 
I'm so, I'm young. I want to do stuff. I'm 19. I mean, how is school going? I love it. I love university. I'm sorry I haven't made videos, but I absolutely love university. It so far has been the best experience of my whole entire life, which is so lame, but I love it. Current YouTube fave. Um, okay, I actually want to do a video about this, but my ongoing fave at the moment, and I'm addicted to her, and I get why she's not uploading a lot at the moment, Lucy Moon. <sighs> She's been my obsession on YouTube. <laughs> She's been my obsession, my prize, my joy, for like three years now, since the start of A-Levels. So, two years and a bit. Oh my god. Seriously, Lucy Mood is incredible and she's going through so much. Like, she's admitted to being an alcoholic online and she's so going sober and she's just moved into a house in London. She's finished university. I love her style. I love how she speaks. I love when she shares her poems. I love when she shares her journals. I love her creativity. I love her 360. I literally, 360, 180 hours. I watch those religiously and when I discovered them, I was watching them to like inspire me. Favourite colour? Uh, teal. Red. Red's my favourite colour. Favourite position to read books? Um, oh, I will do that. So I've got to slap them in the face, run around town like a chicken, eat a cup of ketchup and show you my favourite reading position. Sexy. I love you, Alora. All of you are like, yes. And that shares a media review. It's a curious life.